Hi everyone, it's Angie the Craft NATO, and I'm here today with a much anticipated, anticipated? No, that's the wrong word. That's not even a word. Anticipated unboxing. So if you guys are uh, subscribers to my channel and have watched any of my videos, you may have heard me talk a little bit about this order. Um, it's finally here. This is the first order that I made from this company, uh, Homespun Hobby. And um, I just give you a brief recap. I'm not going to complain about it too much, but just to kind of let you know, and I don't know if this is indicative of, you know, normal practices or if just something outlandish happened and, you know, this is a one-off situation, which I hope it is. But I want to always be truthful with you and let you know what my true experience was like. I'm never going to sugarcoat anything um, and I'm never going to, you know, say nice things just to say nice things. So uh, this order I placed on May 11th. That was when Diamonds and Washi and Tiny Worlds of Wonder announced their Summer with the Masters um, event for diamond painting. And I found this, this is one of the companies that they had talked about in their video as having um, diamond paintings done by old masters. And I, uh, looked at several sites, looked at several paintings, and this is the one that I really connected with and I would have ordered anyway, even if it wasn't for that event. So I ordered this on May 11th. Um, about the end of July, I did reach out and ask for an update. It took me quite some time to get a response. Um, and then quite some more time passed and I reached out again, was told it was gonna ship by a certain day, it didn't. Um, I reached out again and was told it was going to ship by another day um, due to some unforeseen circumstances, and it must have. So this came last week while I was away at the retreat. I have not opened it yet. I just peeled this tape back because um, I didn't have my scissors. They're still packed up with my retreat stuff. I haven't unpacked yet, and it's Tuesday. Um, I'm still recovering, but I didn't want you guys to see me struggling with the tape too much, so I thought I would at least pre-order it. So it came in this nice um, so, uh, triangular shipping box. And this, I'm just hoping that this is gonna be fantastic because it was not cheap. Um, so let's get in here and see what we've got. And what else is it? There's something else in here I can see. Oh, okay, okay. Wow, there's quite a bit of stuff in there. So let's see what we have. So I've got um, a letter, um, dear Ann, so I've got a letter, and let's see what it says. Uh, Sorry I didn't receive my diamond painting as promptly as I expected. Um, to serve you better and faster, I have found a new, new way to design and print my diamond paintings here in the United States. Da 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 da. Um, I had sent your painting in a second wave of orders to my factory after asking for an invoice for my purchase order for about two weeks. My contact said that they would not take any more orders from me until they were finished with the first order. I didn't want to wait, so I found another factory. When they finally started to process the order, they would not show me the entire rendering of the diamond painting for approval. They would only show me part of the image. I explained to them that I can't approve the rendering until I see the entire painting. My contact explained that she didn't have it, only the designer has it. They won't show me the entire image because in the past companies had downloaded and used the image to print their own diamond paintings and cheated this factory. Canceled my order with them. I designed your painting myself and had it printed here in the United States. The transition from ordering from China to making the diamond paintings myself took longer than anticipated. I have hired someone to help me and I am growing. I have changed the way I do business. So moving forward, the turnaround time for creating the paintings and shipping time will be much faster. Again, I apologize for any inconvenience this might have caused. And look forward to filling your future orders in a timely manner. From Sally from A Homespun Hobby. So this means the world to me. Like this really, um, the, she took the time to give me an explanation and I will, I had said before that I would not be ordering from this company again, but based on this letter and we'll see what the quality is going to be like, um, I may change my mind in that and, uh, give them another shot. Um, we'll see, we'll see what, we'll see. So then I've got my invoice or packing, just my packing slip there. Um, and then I have a list of colors. There are 106 
Holy shnikes! There are 106 colors in this diamond painting. And it looks like it has been hand um, checked a couple of times uh, to make sure that I had everything that I needed. So that is appreciated. Um, and let's see what else we have. Then we have an inventory sheet, which I always appreciate an inventory sheet. Um, has the DMC number and the quantity as well as the name of the color and the code that goes along with that color. So because there are 108 colors, it looks like we're going to have a very um, varied mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. And as you can imagine, with 108 colors, you're going to have some kind of off-the-wall symbols. Um, there's going to be some things that you're not usually used to seeing. Uh, so hopefully they are nice and clear on the canvas and I won't have any problems um, differentiating between symbols on the canvas. We'll definitely take a look uh, at that. And the painting that I got is called A Rooster with Hens and Chicks by Albertus Verhosen from 1855. Um, it's actually, the name of the painting is in German, but translated, it's A Rooster with Hens and Chicks. So kind of funny, I just um, unboxed, I'm not sure what order you guys will see the unboxings, but I just un unboxed another diamond painting that was of chickens. So this is going to be the chicken, the week of the chickens, I guess. All right, so let's take a look at what is in this little package. And we'll see... It's a really nice like little pencil case, decorated little tin, opens up and inside it has, what does it have, what is this? Oh, it's a drill pen that is USB chargeable, that is a lighted drill pen. So it has a switch, you can turn it on, it must be already charged somewhat. You put your tip in. I don't know, has anybody ever used these? Has that, does anybody have any experience with these lighted tip pens? I might actually give it a try. Um, I'll probably use the multi-placer end. It did include two multi-placers. They're the wider placers. It looks like a three and a nine placer. Yeah, it looks like a nine placer. Um, maybe I'll try to put one in it because it doesn't seem to fit perfectly in there. Let me see. Yeah, the, the, it doesn't seem to want to fit real, real good into there. Maybe the three-placer will. You guys are probably like, Angie, just would you just get into the freaking diamond painting already? Well, you know what? It's my channel, and I'll do what I want to. If you don't want to listen, you're perfectly welcome to turn it off. Oh, it does. Oh, I see. It screws in. Okay, so I was screwing. I was doing it wrong. So it screws in, and then it's in there nice and snugly. So I do believe that they have these available on Amazon, these light-up pens. But this one's nice because the ones that I've seen before um, were just battery operated. You had to put like double A's or whatever in it. So this has a USB charger, so it's rechargeable. So that's kind of nice. I might give this a try. I'll let you know how it goes. All right, so that's nice that they send you that. Did I turn that off? I did, okay. Let me just set this over to the side, someplace where I'm not going to throw it away on accident. And let's get into the diamond painting itself. Um, the drills, we'll get into the drills in a second. Let's look at the diamond painting. So I, again, am not even sure if this is going to be poured glue or double-sided adhesive, but I'm assuming by the way that it is, I shouldn't assume anything. Let's just, let's just unwrap it and see. So I do appreciate it that it was in the protective too. It, this is interesting. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if this is poured glue or not because it looks as if it's been coated with just a residential grade uh, not wax paper. Why? I'm having a problem with words, guys. Um, you know, that other stuff. Not wax paper, but parchment paper, parchment paper. Don't ever use wax paper on your diamond painting. So this has been covered with parchment paper rather than a clear covering or the kind of covering that, the opaque covering that you see with a poured glue canvas. 
Now I will say right off the bat that I love the canvas. It is reminiscent to me of uh, the canvas that Heaven and Earth Designs um, Crown Jewel Canvases used, uses. Uh, so I do love the canvas and we'll roll it. And I'm kind of doing it, e you know, kind of easy because I have a feeling that it might be double-sided. We'll see for sure in a minute. But it's rolled quite, um, quite, quite, quite tightly. And I'm kind of afraid of it. Yeah, and this is, parchment paper is just coming right off. It's not staying on there at all. Um, so let me just... I'm just going to take it off and I, I, I can't even roll it backwards because, you know, to get the creep or to get the rolls out of it because it's so, uh, because this parchment paper is just not sticking to it. So I don't want the canvas to roll onto itself and, uh, yeah, and stick to itself. All right. It seems like it's going to lay flat now. So I'm just going to take this off and set it to the side and we'll see what it looks like and we'll see if it's double sided adhesive, excuse my arm, or poured glue. All right. So this is the image and I didn't mention it, but this is a round drill kit and I am thinking that it is poured glue. So I'm not sure why why that kind of a cover was put on it, but whatever, I'm not gonna, you know, that's neither here nor there. Uh, I mean, I guess it kind of is, because now I have to keep this flat. Well, I guess I don't have to. I don't know, I, I it's kind of a, kind of different. Just, I've never experienced that before. Um, but let's test the stickiness of the canvas since we have it all uncovered right now. It does seem to be nice and sticky. Uh, so it, uh, I, I, I don't have any concerns about the, drills falling off at this point. You never really know until you work on something. Um, but I, it looks, uh, it looks to be pretty sticky just from the finger test. Uh, but this is the image and I wish I had a better picture of the image to show you from the original artwork because with round drill kits, sometimes it's a little hard to see the beauty of what the image is going to be before you put drills on it. Uh, the symbols kind of obscure the image in a way, but you've got a rooster here, a hen down here pecking, a couple hens over to the side, and then some baby chicks over here. And then they're just in a pasture um, with skies and cloud, sky and cloud in the background. And from what I can tell, it's going to be really pretty. I mean, the original artwork is absolutely gorgeous. If you wanted to look up the original artwork, I gave you the name of the artist and the name of the piece if you wanted to see that. And I will link this item in the description field of this video if you want to take a look at the original art. Um, just taking a look at the symbol clarity, because we have so many colors, it's going to be really important that our symbols are easily differentiable. From one another, especially in areas where the uh, color of the background is the same. So in taking a look at this, um, they're a little bit, a little bit uh, blurry. Not a ton, but just some of the symbols are a little bit blurry and it may mean that you need to wear some reading glasses or use a light pad. Not a big deal because I'm always wearing my reading glasses and when I'm diamond painting and I do use a nice bright light. But you may, yeah, you may need some extra, extra help in the department of differentiating the image or the symbols. Yeah, I do see some up here. I'm going to try to close, get this in a close up for you up here in the sky. And I'm going to try to do it so that the canvas doesn't roll back on itself and adhere to itself. But some of these symbols up here in the sky, especially, are similar with a similar colored background. And that's always tricky uh, to try to make sure that you get the right drill in the right spot. 
So, <clears throat> yeah, I, I wish, I, I love this image. I love, love, love the image. I like the canvas. I'm not crazy about what she did with this parchment paper as far as, you know, using that to cover the diamond painting. Um, and maybe that's something, you know, that I would suggest to her or request is if they could put a plastic cover on it. I don't even know the dimensions of this. Let me see if my paperwork shows the dimensions. It doesn't. My, yeah, this doesn't even have the dimensions on it on my packing list. Um, let's see if we can measure it. So the canvas obviously has very large margins, which I kind of appreciate the fact that there is no legend on the canvas with this one, because this is something that I'm definitely going to frame and um, put in my house. And uh, I like, I'll be able to put, you know, it'll act like almost like mat, I won't have to pay for matting on the frame. Or it'll make it a nice crisp, I won't have to paint the edges if Jeff and I decide to do a wrapped canvas frame um, that we do. So we're, I'm just gonna measure the painting, not the canvas size. And from top to bottom, it measures exactly 19 inches, which is how many centimeters? I don't have centimeters on here. 19 inches by 25 inches. So it's 19 by 25, and um, I think that's a great size for, like, a piece to hang in your house. I, I do like the size, and the fact that it has so many colors uh, is really intriguing to me. I really like those diamond paintings that have a lot of colors. I'm just worried that I won't be able to see them, it's, uh, or I won't be able to make them out from one another. I'm a little bit worried about that. But it, like I said, it, I have, have the inventory sheet and hopefully we're going to work on this one. I'm going to work on this one and get back with you guys and let you know how it goes. So I'm going to cover this back up while we take a look at the drills because I'm interested now to see the drill quality. And I, I, I'm just not, I'll probably, what I'll probably end up doing with this is because this parchment paper doesn't even really want to stay stuck on there. I'll probably end up covering it with relief papers and then storing it flat until I'm ready to work on it. But like I said, I do want to put some drills on it right away just to know if this is, you know, a company that I want to continue to order from and also to let you guys know what I think about the quality. So our drills come pre-bagged, which I know a lot of people are really happy um, about that. And it looks like, so I've got two like Ziploc baggies of drills. We're obviously with over a hundred colors, we're not gonna go through every drill, but I will show you the quality. Uh, so it looks like they are pre-baggied and they are in DMC order. It would appear from first glance. Yep, they're in DMC order, and it's just handwritten on there. Uh, let me take a look at, I'm going to grab this other bag because there are some darker drills just right there in the front. And because there are so many colors, I do want to kind of keep these in order. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to get them out and show them all to you, but we'll take a look at a dark color and see um, what the quality looks like. All right. So this is 935, which is a super dark green. And let's pour some in a baggie. These are nice baggies, they're kind of heavy duty. And see what they look like. Pour some in a tray here. So it looks like they are, they look to be fairly decent drills. They do look like they're the ones that, um, you can visibly see the facets versus like uh, oh from craftably or mystical diamond art where the facet where they're they're more of a shiny look you can't really differentiate the facets these do look like you can you know differentiate the facets on them and I think that's a matter of personal preference some people like that and some people don't but they are very sparkly very sparkly drills and you can see the backs on some of them there. Backs are nice and flat, so I would say that these are decent drills. Um, the colors look good. 
they look, you know, they don't look washed out or anything like some of the cheaper drills do. So um, I'll just maybe put this up close to the camera so you can kind of see. But you can tell the kind of colors we're going to be working with um, just from based on the image. Nothing too exciting. Classic Angie. No, not too, no exciting colors, but it's going to be a beautiful image when it's done. Beautiful, beautiful. I just hope that it is, um, I hope it's fun to work on. And you can see here already this parchment paper is rolling up on itself and rolling away from the adhesive. Uh, I don't care for that. I, yeah, don't care for that at all. But that would be a suggestion. Like she said, she's growing and probably going to go through some growing pains. And, you know, I'm all for small business owners and I uh, want to you know, support American businesses, U.S. businesses, and if she's trying to do something and print in the United States, good for you. I mean, that's a lofty goal. That's There's going to be some inevitable growing pains about it. So um, that's what I've got, and I've waited since May. <laughs> uh, but I do love the image, and I love the artwork. And we'll see about the rest. I will keep you guys updated as I go along. I am going to work on it. So there was no tray or wax included um, and no normal diamond painting pen, just that light up pen. And so I would, you know, if I had to make a suggestion, um, I would say definitely throw in a, uh, throw in a tool kit. I know a lot of people have a bazillion and a half toolkits, but if this was your first diamond painting you ever bought, you'd be, you know, up a creek. You wouldn't be able to work on it because you wouldn't have any wax or, or, or that or a tray. So I can't think it'd cost too much to throw in a toolkit, but whatever. What do I know? I don't know. I don't know anything. I know a little bit about a lot, but a lot about a little. There, that's the that's way to say it. All right, I've rambled on long enough. Um, I've was been so excited to get this. I'm going to start working on it right away. I want to see what it's going to be like. So thank you guys all for watching. I'll link this in the description field. Uh, and I'll let you know on my whip and chat on Thursday what I think of the quality. So I'm going to put some drills on it and let you all know what I think of the quality um, after I've started working on it. If you have any questions or comments leave them down in the comment section i will get back with you as soon as i can uh, other than that thank you for watching and subscribing and i hope you all have a great day all right i'll talk to you soon thanks bye guys